presented by Black Magic Design. With the participation of Image et Technologie. to talk about HP products because uh, we're a user group we've been talking a lot about software and now hardware and um, HP has nice well, very nice and powerful solutions for everything that is like the power users and uh, everybody in like the editors and people in 3d that had to do a lot of work quickly it takes something a lot a long time lots of renders and you've got the workstation to work with that with the all the like the Z station, the Z series. Right, right. So what's what's part of the Z series? That, how did it, that it did it became like that like solution for entertainment? What's the genesis of yeah. the Z series? Yeah. Well, to back up a little bit, uh, we've been at HP, been designing, and developing workstations for over 30 years, dating back to when it was a proprietary platform when. If you wanted a processor, you had to design and build it yourself. If you wanted graphics cards, you had to design those. Hard drives, even keyboards, we designed all of that uh, in Fort Collins, Colorado, which is the uh, headquarters of our workstation business. Uh, so we've been doing this for a long time and developing customer and partner relationships throughout all this time. Uh, fast forward to 2009 when we introduced the Z workstations, which is basically the model model that we have here now. Uh, we've basically been the only workstation vendor that has made that transition from proprietary to more of the uh, commodity Windows-based platforms. We're the only ones there. Uh, in 2009, we introduced uh, the Z-Series Z400, Z600, and Z800. Uh, since that time, in 2010, we introduced the Z200 platform and the Z2 200 small form factor. Mm -hmm. The reason we went with that small form factor is we realized that our users' environments are becoming more and more space constrained and they needed something smaller. Uh, it was uh, four years before anyone matched that uh, capability in putting a workstation in a small form factor. Uh, in 2012, again, we, we uh, kept the pulse of our customers, what they were doing, what they needed, and in work environments were continuing to get smaller and smaller. Uh, we had in mind doing an all-in-one for some time. Uh, but what we wanted to do is do it in a way that was no compromise and fitting workstation capability in an all-in-one form factor is very, very difficult. Uh, so difficult, in fact, that we've been shipping an all-in-one uh, workstation for four years now and no one's been able to, to duplicate that. Um, our users' needs have continued to evolve and uh, what that kind of led us to is moving to a 24-inch all-in-one, which is what we uh, have introduced here yesterday, uh, first day of NAB. So we've gone with uh, now a 24-inch, uh, but we've gone with 4, 4K UHD display. Uh, lots, lots of exciting things going on there. Uh, it's half, half the amount of weight and also half the size. But more importantly, as, is that we've reduced the cost by over 20 percent, really allowing customers to make the choice based on what form factor they need rather than which is the least expensive platform. Okay. But we're talking about workstation. So what's the difference between an, an office PC, a gamer P, uh, sure. PC, and a workstation? Right. So it's basically you start with the components inside. Uh, error correcting code memory for one that uh, detects and fixes uh, single bit errors without uh, uh, the system shutting down and it detects multi-bit errors. Uh, storage, uh, using higher grade storage like SAS hard drives and rating those to provide greater uh, reliability. Uh, the Xeon processors which are built uh, 
by server standards. They're actually the same components that are used in servers. Uh, the graphics uh, components, we use the professional graphics from NVIDIA, branded Quadro, and also the Fire Pro from AMD. Uh, all those combined, really, we, we send them through uh, not only our own testing, but our independent software vendor application testing, which get, gives us thousands of more hours worth of testing. All of in our customers, in real so, life. Yeah. Um, our customers are extremely demanding in the medical industry, in the oil and gas, engineering, film and video, uh, that demand mission critical operation. We have customers that are doing a 15, 20, 100 hour render and they can't handle or, or uh, stomach a crash in the middle of that where they have to start it over. So our customers are the uh, most demanding customers in the industry and that's why we build workstations uh, with the reliability, the extreme high level of reliability we do. Cool. And I know you do also a lot of work on the software side for drivers and the, con the configurator. So you also uh, you do the engineering for the hard hardware and all boxes. And also, how do you not bring that software in? How do you work that? We work very closely with all of our partners. Many of those partners are here at this mm -hmm. show here. We work closely with them almost on a daily basis. Uh, they get early access to our hardware. Uh, we have performance tools and reliability tools that we provide them to make sure that they're testing to the utmost uh, stability and reliability. Uh, we are typically one of the first to find uh, errors in the software and uh, we uh, feed that information back. We're basically leveraging the expertise that we gained from doing our own proprietary graphics, processors, memory, and even operating systems uh, to, to, to feed that information back to not only the hardware vendors, but also the software vendors yeah. as well. And you go also go the extra mile to do your, some of your own hardware, like the, um, the drive, the drive, and, uh, the, uh, and also to the, this, all the display to work in the media and entertainment business. So. Exactly. So, uh, one notable display innovation from HP is the HP Dream Color display. Yeah. We work very closely with many in the media and entertainment industry, filmmakers, that uh, years back were having difficulty transitioning from the older CRT displays mm -hmm. to the uh, liquid crystal displays that we have today. And the reason they were sticking with the older CRTs is because they could calibrate them, they were color critical. Um, so our engineers worked with them uh, to develop a cutter, color critical liquid crystal display that we have today and we call Dream Color. In fact, that's uh, been the only display that's won an Academy Award uh, and we did that just this last year. And what are the, the flagship flagship station you're showing this year at NAB? Well, obviously the HP Z1 uh, G3 workstation. Uh, we have our uh, entire lineup here from uh, the Z240, which is our entry level. Our performance entry is our Z440 platform, single processor. Then we move up to our mid-range dual processor platform, our Z640, and the flagship of our line, uh, the ultimate in workstations, the HP Z840 workstation. And you also have like, laptops. And a full line yeah. of laptops from uh, 15 inch all the way up to the 17 inch high end uh, laptop, workstation, mobile workstations. So you're covering like everything from, you can go on field with a laptop, you can go in smaller places like our office with the Z1 yeah. and go to like the full line suite with the As I eight mentioned four. earlier, our yeah. customers are very demanding. Yeah. They, they, they stretch from entry level all the way up to the high end. So we have mobile workstation customers, artists, filmmakers that want to uh, edit, you know, on the go, mobile, uh, and then attach to a higher end workstation, say like a Z640 or a Z840, and do the high powered, very intricate editing and film creation. Great. Oh. Well, thank you, Mike, for this overview of the Z-World. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. I appreciate it.